Most doctors don't know about this condition. It can cause fatigue, lightheadedness, dizziness, palpitations, trouble concentrating, digestive issues and more. It's often misdiagnosed as anxiety or panic attacks. It can take up to seven years on average to reach a diagnosis. It can have a huge impact on day to day life. But what is this mystery condition? Stay tuned to find out. Hey, it's Dr. Asmine. I make videos about medicine, science, life as a doctor and and learning new things. Please consider hitting that subscribe button and bell icon to see more videos like this. It helps the channel and it helps YouTube promote these videos and educate as many people as possible. So what is this mystery condition? Today, we are talking about POTS. No, not that kind of POTS. POTS stands for Postural Orthostatic Tachycardia Syndrome. That's a lot of big words, let's break it down. Postural means that the symptoms are related to your posture. Orthostatic refers to standing upright. Tachycardia means a high heart rate. And finally, syndrome is a collection of symptoms affecting different parts of your body. The reason I'm making this video is because so many people are affected by it and it's really underdiagnosed. I want to help raise awareness so that people get the right diagnosis and the treatment they deserve. A quick disclaimer that this is not medical advice. If you're worried, you should seek help from your own healthcare professional. And if you're a healthcare professional yourself, you must exercise your own judgment. So what happens in POTS? Well, it's all to do with our circulation. Normally when we sit up or stand up, Gravity pulls blood down into our abdomen, our hands and our legs. When this happens, our blood vessels quickly narrow and our heart starts pumping slightly faster to keep blood flowing to our heart and our brain and prevent our blood pressure from dropping. This all happens without us thinking about it because of our autonomic nervous system, which is responsible for our body's automatic functions. But in POTS, the autonomic nervous system doesn't work properly. Instead, when the person sits or stands up, the blood pools downwards due to gravity. The blood vessels can't narrow quickly enough to keep the blood pressure up. So the heart is like, wait a minute, the blood vessels aren't doing their job properly. I need to work harder and faster to keep blood flowing to important organs like the brain and the heart. So what are the symptoms of POTS? You can develop POTS gradually or suddenly. Symptoms might come on immediately upon sitting or standing up, or it might come on a few minutes afterwards. Sometimes lying down can help relieve these symptoms. The blood leaving your brain when you stand up can cause symptoms like dizziness, lightheadedness, headaches, trouble thinking or concentrating, sometimes known as brain fog, or even fainting. When the heart beats harder and faster to keep your blood flowing, you might feel heart palpitations, a fluttering or pounding in your chest, shortness of breath or chest pain. The surge of adrenaline when all this is happening can cause sweating, shaking, nausea, poor sleep and a feeling of anxiety. All of this leads to feeling fatigued or really tired all the time. Some people find that feeling hot, doing vigorous exercise, eating a large meal or having a period can make these symptoms worse. So what actually causes POTS? Sometimes the cause is unknown. Sometimes it can be triggered by a viral infection, pregnancy or some kind of traumatic event. Other causes include hypermobile Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, a genetic condition that affects collagen. These people might be flexible or double jointed or have joint pain and a whole range of other random symptoms like digestive problems, fatigue and also POTS. POTS might result from other underlying conditions like diabetes, cancer, amyloidosis, sarcoidosis or lupus. It can be due to poisoning from alcohol or certain metals. A genetic condition that causes too much noradrenaline, one of our fight or flight hormones. And POTS commonly occurs alongside chronic fatigue syndrome as well. How is POTS diagnosed? If you're worried about POTS, then you should consult your own health professional. Remember, you shouldn't diagnose yourself based on this video alone. However, the definition of POTS is is a rise in your heart rate of 30 beats per minute when you stand up and that should be within 10 minutes of standing and the rise in heart rate should last for 30 seconds or longer and this should be alongside other pot symptoms we've mentioned as well. Some of the diagnostic tests your doctors might use include a tilt table test where you're strapped to a table that can tilt up and down while your heart rate and blood pressure are measured 
active stand test where you stand up while your heart rate and blood pressure are measured, an ECG or EKG to measure your heart's electrical activity, an echocardiogram or scan of your heart, blood pressure and heart rate monitoring over 24 hours, and blood tests to ensure that your organs are working properly and to rule out other important diagnoses. How can POTS be treated? Self-care measures are the mainstay of POTS treatment. If you're suddenly feeling faint or dizzy, then you should try lying down with your legs up. If you can't do this, try rocking up and down on your toes and clench your leg muscles like your calves and your glutes to help blood flow back up to your heart and brain. Here are some measures to stay healthy and reduce pot symptoms in the long term. Drink plenty of fluids to keep yourself hydrated and keep your blood pressure up. Try to keep active but choose your mode of exercise carefully and pace yourself. Walking, Swimming and resistance exercises like squats are good ways to increase your muscle bulk and stay fit. Make sure you gradually build up to avoid exhausting yourself. When lying down, use a few pillows to keep your head elevated to make sure you aren't lying flat. Avoid standing for long periods of time. If you've been lying down, try to get up slowly. If you get up too quickly, you might faint. Avoid caffeine and alcohol as much as you possibly can. And you could try increasing your salt intake, but this can be dangerous for some people if you have an underlying heart or kidney condition or a high blood pressure. So you must consult your doctor before you try doing this. If these self-care measures aren't enough, then your doctor might try some medications, which I'm not going to discuss here because guidelines are constantly changing based on the latest best evidence. There are links in the description below where you can find up-to-date information from reputable sources. Hey, it's Editing Asmine here. I just wanted to add that I'm uploading this on the 25th of October, which is POT Awareness Day. So it would be amazing if you could share this video with your family, friends, and your colleagues, especially if you're a healthcare professional, so that we can raise awareness of this important condition. October is also Dysautonomia Awareness Month, which raises awareness for autonomic nervous system dysfunctions like POTS. I wanted to specifically give a shout out to two non-profit organisations, POTS UK and Dysautonomia International, who've done a huge amount of work in bringing awareness to POTS and bringing justice to patients who've suffered for ages without a proper diagnosis and allow them to get the help they so desperately need. So thank you. You might want to watch some of my other videos where I talk about medical topics in a fun way and my series Junior Doctor Diaries documenting life as a doctor. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe and until the next time, stay groovy.